It's a special honor to be here today to celebrate the pioneers of television in Africa. Exactly 60 years ago today, Chief Obafemi Aolo, Premier of the Western Region, then flanked by the Governor General, Sir John Rankin, and Chief Anthony Naporo, who was the Region's Minister of Information, and Chief Titi Jola, first board chair of the Western Nigeria Broadcasting Corporation, formally entered the history books by commissioning the WNTV first in Africa. And this was ahead of China. China only got television in 1962. Ahead of Canada. Canada got television in 1967. Ahead of New Zealand in 1960. And several European countries, including the Netherlands, who only got television in 1960. Ireland in 1961. Greece in 1966. And Malta in 1962. So it was not just first in Africa. It was first in many parts of Asia. And of course, as you can imagine, uh, even in Europe. We do not even talk at all about this and Europe. The event was historic for three reasons. Firstly, it demonstrated the capacity of the Nigerian man to conceive of and achieve anything, no matter how complex or difficult. Secondly, it demonstrates how visionary leadership can inspire and lead people from the lowest levels to the highest points of human imagination. Thirdly, it exemplifies the use of public resources for the public good. The WNTV was built to inform and to educate and to entertain. And as Papa himself said on that day 60 years ago, television is a powerful influence for good. It would ordinarily have been unimaginable that somehow, in a part of the then yet to be independent Nigeria, a man and his team would build a television station in three months. The first, as we have seen in many parts of the world. But for the man it was, Papa Obafemi Yaolo, it wasn't so surprising. Because he had laid out a plan for the rapid development of the Western region, which included physical infrastructure and human capacity development. The plan included free and compulsory education. As of the date of the inauguration of the WNT, almost a million children were in school in the Western region. 41% of the Western region's budget was spent on education. The highest proportion, the highest proportion at that time anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. In the free world in particular, it was obvious that those who understood the value of education used it as a powerful problem for the advancement of their peoples. And Papa clearly understood that. So so today, as we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the establishment of the WNTV, we also celebrate what is possible in our nation and in our states. We celebrate also what vision, hard work, and a commitment to the public good can do. But as Ambassador Parumbi has said, the celebration of the phenomenal achievement in 1959 would be wasted unless we recognize that the achievement represents sturdy shoulders for us to stand on, and that today we can do more, and that the vision of our world was to build a people capable of excelling beyond even his own achievements. Every generation has a historic responsibility to reach for the highest peaks that human capacity can achieve. Today, we are at the most advanced moment in science, in technology, and innovation in human history. The mobile phone, the smartphones that you have in your hands, have more computing power than all of the computing power that the Apollo spaceship that took men to the moon had in 1965. Today, every smartphone has more computing power than all that the Apollo spaceship had in 1965. So all things are possible, and we are able. Let us be inspired by Papa's words that our only limit is our imagination. 
Congratulations to the foundation for Ibadan Television and to all of us, friends, family, and admirers of the pioneers. Thank you very much. God bless you.